let's do this. Currently, there are no products in my hair. water bottle make sure you detangle it okay so now that my hair is all detangled i'm going to put it in a temporary braid so that it stays damp and it keeps it from getting super big and poofy so that when i'm ready to do my actual hairstyle it's what is the word? It's easy to... <laughs> anyway, so that it's more manageable. There we go. We're going to do these baby hips. So loud. Ready? And I'm gonna brush my hair back so that it's easy for me to get on my baby hairs. I love doing sideburns, so instead of just taking out little, like the little sideburns that are there, I could do that, but I want to be a little bit dramatic today. So I'm going to take this entire piece right here out. It is not easy to do this on the full screen. <laughs> I do it one by one. I don't pull out everything, so let me not even do that. I'm using got to be, don't mind that. I'm using got to be glue. I just dot some because you don't need a lot of this stuff. And I put it on there like that. Bring it down and like just stick it on my face for me so that it stays right there. I'm looking in the mirror for this side. This side curled different and that's okay. If it doesn't stick, I'll take the edge of my brush and then get a little bit on my eyebrows. The purpose of these videos are curly, healthy hairstyles, so I definitely don't recommend using the got to be glue. I recommend using like a more soft glue like eco gel or something like that. I've noticed that when I pull out too much baby hair, it looks like I got a lineup or something. So I try to avoid that. right here and just make sure that it stays nice and dry this is what we have so far got apart the top so i have to take this out part there i have like this little swoop here okay my hair has started to dry a little bit so i don't want to wet this too much because i found that when i do a side swoop if i wet it too much it'll like separate when i slick it down and i don't like to have like i don't like that my hair is on the thinner side so i'm gonna take some conditioner and to keep it wet i'm going to put the conditioner in my hair and the ends of this here now i'm going to start shaping my hair i'm not going to put too much gel though if you use eco gel you can use a little bit more but if you're using this gel don't put too much just make sure i'll be getting a lot of little flyaway here take your flat brush and 
right here, right there. We're going to perfect it at the end. We're just right now making sure that we get it into the point zero. Use this. Some of that isn't really gonna fit into the ponytail. I'm just making sure that I get the parts that are because I do not want to do have to do like a second ponytail or anything like that. Now that you can see the shape of my whole skull, I'm gonna put the ponytail on. Also, I recommend that you use like the fabric ponytails because those pull your hair less. You don't do your ponytails way too tight don't cause friction on your hair do this part first just because this gel dries fairly fast and obviously when this gel dries it's it's stuck right there okay if you guys would like me to do a story time next time i do a hair tutorial let me know did that curl right there we're not gonna cover that up but we are going to pull the hair over it. We don't want to brush through the curl right there. So be careful of that. You see that little crease right there? I don't want that. This is what we have so far. Like I said, you can leave your poof here. You could do a bun, some little those clicky things that click your hair stuff on whatever this is a healthy hairstyle so i'm not going to put gel back there i'm going to put conditioner oh it's poofing up right there see that's that shit i be talking about i need it to be perfect going to start the braid and then I'll take a piece here it is hard or like a little bit more difficult for me personally to excuse me do it on the side so I mean in the back so I have to come from the side and put the hair in This is not curly braiding hair. Mine just looks like this because I have already used this hair to do a braid. So it's like wavy already. Secure it with a rubber band. I'm going to put a roller in it and secure it here. If you secure it on the rubber band, the curl is going to be like bent. It's gonna look very weird. I'm gonna take my kettle. I already filled it with the water comes with this little plug-in stand i'll put the link in the bio i'm gonna take some vanilla extract i put it in the water i'm gonna turn it on and wait for it to get hot put these little little flyaway hairs this hairstyle is not forehead friendly. Um, I haven't done the side swoop in a long time. So if you do this hairstyle, you're definitely gonna wanna bring it down a little bit more. This looks very... <laughs> so that's what we have so far. Now we're going to remove this. That's it. Stay tuned for my next hair tutorial. I will see you guys next time.